With release 18, Cinema 4D can now natively load Direct Draw Surface or DDS image files. This is a format that's used a lot in game development, which quite frankly, I had never worked with before. But imagine my surprise when on May the 4th, Star Wars Day, Video Copilot released a free Star Wars model pack. I definitely wanted to play with these models, so I hit the download button and discovered that all of the textures are in the DDS file format. They do have an alternate download with JPEG, but I wanted to use the original DDS files. And fortunately, I already had access to release 18. And now with release 18, you can natively load those DDS image files as well. So let's go ahead and import in good old R2D2. I'm gonna merge the star pack R2D2 standing model. And it's stored as an OBJ. We're using Cinema 4D's OBJ importer to pull that in. And now we've got R2D2. We just need to relink the textures. So I'm gonna open up the R2D2 material here. So here in the color channel, we'll go ahead and load the R2D2 diffuse DDS file. And that'll give us all of the main color information for R2D2. We're gonna go into the reflectance channel and we'll add a new GGX layer. And in the layer mask, I'm gonna go ahead and load the reflectance channel for R2D2. And we'll increase the roughness just a little bit as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop the specular out because we have a separate specular map. Now, you'll notice here that we're getting a nice reflectance preview in Cinema 4D Release 18. If I turn off the reflections, you'll see what it would have looked like in prior releases. So it's nice to be able to see the reflections as we're editing it in the viewport. I'm gonna go ahead and add that specular map. So we'll add an additional specular layer. And in here, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the layer mask and we'll load the specular map. We're also provided with a normal map, which I'm actually going to put in the bump channel. So we'll go ahead and load that in. And now we have R2D2 right here in our scene. So thanks to release 18, we can now natively load these DDS textures, whether you're getting them from Video Copilot or using them in your latest game development. Until next time, may the force be with you. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please like, share, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.